guys, it's me, Stormy, and here is your weekly horoscope for the week of April 9th. So before we jump into this forecast for the week, which is actually very good, we've got a little blip kind of on the radar in the middle of the week but other than that it's pretty good we've got mercury coming out of retrograde so it's going to be a good week but before we get to that hopefully you are taking advantage of your 37,000 subscriber gift it is only up until april 14th as well the spring cleaning list both are in the description box down below or at stormygrace.com are only up until the 20th so make sure you grab your spot or take advantage of those specials you guys because i'm trying to give you something really cool so take advantage okay all right, let's talk about this week. So we've got not only a new moon happening, we've got a planetary swap happening this week, but let's just start at the beginning. So on Wednesday, the 11th, we've actually got the Sun and Pluto in a square. Now this actually creates a power struggle between my vitality. I wanna move, I wanna do something, I wanna push forward, I wanna shine bright, right? But Pluto says, mm, nope, not until you do that spiritual cleansing, not until you do that digging, not until you face that fear, right? Pluto is gonna make it get deep. Now the good news is, is that this is only in a square for a day and then that energy starts to separate and move on however whenever the sun pluto square happens i find that it really doesn't just last a day right just the actual aspect happens for a day but it can usually take a couple days so if that's something that you're feeling if you're feeling like oh my gosh i'm trying to get bigger why isn't this working lean into that energy lean into a square because a square in astrology says hey i need action i need your attention i need you to make a different decision and take a different action so what different action is your life calling for this week now after that that's like the big stuff really i think of the week because after that on the 15th we've got mercury coming out of retrograde thank goodness we can get back to having some normal conversation which takes us out of that mode of in the past re-looking re-doing re-editing rethinking re 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 to moving forward right all of these things that you have rethought redone re-edited now you can start to move them forward and you can move forward because we've also got the um aries new moon happening in really nice um conjunction with uranian energy as well this is a start something new initiate something new plant these new seeds of intention mercury is out of retrograde we've got some forward motion going on and in our favor so make sure you're definitely taking advantage of that energy this week depending on which house it's falling in for you take a new beginning in that direction and i do want to tell you too if you um wanted to take a different kind of risk something with um, sports or, or an investment in your portfolio or just some kind of very big risk, this is a really, really wonderful moon to be able to take it under. So try something new, expect the unexpected because Uranus is involved. But ultimately, I feel like as we get to the end of the week, wherever you're trying to go, you have some forward motion to be able to get there. You've probably got some new innovative or intuitive thought to help you get there as well. Plus, in order to get your vitality to shine, that Pluto square at the beginning of the week has actually shown you maybe what needs to come up and get out of the way. I wouldn't be surprised if um, during the week just out in the world as well, we don't hear of some more secrets rising to the surface as well. So let's keep our ears and our eyes popped and see what comes up for us for sure, okay? Happy initiating new things this week. <laughs> I look forward to seeing what Mercury coming out of retrograde is going to bring for you guys. Remember that just because Mercury is out of retrograde doesn't mean we have full license to go. We're going to start going a little bit slowly here because Mercury has to turn around, stretch, has, has his cosmic coffee, get his life together before he resumes his orbit. But we'll definitely feel some of the pressure off as he does turn around this week, okay? All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to kicking it with you next week. Grab your 37,000 subscriber gift this week before it's gone, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.